There are two types of real estate creators. They are the ones who see the beauty. They are the ones who see perfection. They are the ones that like to hype. And then there's me, who sees the human fecal matter, the BS. But my first eye, my first look is drawn to the fecal matter. And in this video, we're going to analyze this beautiful Tarpoon Island listed or was listed for $218 million. Let's go. This is what $218 million buys you in Palm Beach, Florida. Yeah, yeah. None of my cash is full. None of my cars are gold. Who do you think the buyer will be? I don't want to say anything. The people who are buying this home have donated this amount of money. They bought artwork. Is it that expensive to spend $218 million on a home if you've bought a piece of artwork that expensive? I'm just imagining who's going to drive over that bridge and walk Wait in and minute. say, Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This gonna, is my new I'm home. I'm going to... Right there. Two different things, okay? The MBS, who bought that Leonardo da Vinci piece of art, okay, is... It was an auction. There are people bidding it up. The prices come up. You kind of pay the fair market value. It's a you know regular auction. Selling a house is an upside down auction where the prices kind of drop as it comes and so someone says, I will buy it. Very different scenarios. And art, when you're buying it at an auction, prices justifies because it's a normal type of an auction going up, right? Because you know someone else is paying a little bit less and they will take it. Where in real estate, especially in the high end, it's very difficult to tell how much it's really worth if you're the only buyer, which typically in these really, really expensive homes, mostly only one buyer every year or six months that comes into play to purchase something like this. So it's very hard, two different things, and I would not agree with that statement. Let's go. The island measures in at 2.2 acres of land located wow, in the intercoastal nice. waterway of Palm Beach. Talking it's man-made, very... built by dredging crews in the 1930s. The island was purchased in 2021 for $85 million. It featured a 1940s Florida styled home, okay. which has since been totally reimagined and added onto, now measuring in at 21,000 square feet with 11 bedrooms and 22 bathrooms. Okay, let's pause it right there. Location, I'm gonna give it a 10. It doesn't get better than this. I mean, this is just one of a kind. And when it comes to real estate, something two point you know, seven acres, secluded area of intercoastal high uh, waterway. It's very unique, very good. Let's go. I don't think I've ever been this excited to share a home with you on my channel. Welcome to the island. So you enter over your own private bridge where you have security there out front. It is the only private island in Palm. The first thing the owner should do should make it a drawbridge so it comes open and closed. Like how cool would that be, right? Like. You go in and then you just close it. No one can come in. It would be so awesome. Perspective, little perspective here. All these homes around us are going for at least 40, 50, 60 million dollars. It's 218 million dollars for your own private island. So aesthetic foot on the island, welcome. You have Huge a beautiful front rolling edge. front lawn Massive. on your I mean, left and your talking right about side approach, here. Right? The bridge then leads the to your approach has a bridge. Where you have like, it's amazing, two right? beautiful banding trees really adding to the essence of the space. And as you can see, the architecture of this home is a colonial style. Okay, before he goes to the colonial architectural style, I'm going to say lot utilization is a 10. Lot quality, you got 2.7 acres, right? You comfortably fit a tennis court in there. It's also a 10. And law orientation, let's talk about it. Look, law orientation doesn't really matter when you're sitting on 2.7 acre. As long as you're not next to something highway or airplanes flying over you, the east, west, north, south facing map doesn't matter either because it's each window, there's nothing blocking you, right? Technically, this would be a, what a south facing, right? This would be a south facing house, which is absolutely amazing. But you're not going to you're going to get light from every single window you're going to get east facing light from here west facing and north facing light so lot uh, orientation is absolutely a 10 so 10 10 10 uh, and we'll talk about privacy later okay let's jump back into it which is very different from most of the homes in this area which are a bit more mediterranean and the original house off to my side here that's the original structure and all this was added on off of the motor core there is a five car garage here off to my side now entering the home through this huge mahogany door let me just take a look at this 
The scale of the home is incredible. So as you enter the space, you have this open concept room. It's the gray room slash dining room. But I'm going to take you to what you probably clicked on in this video for. The whole wall of this space opens up. Getting out to your loggia, where you have a view of your 98 foot long That's swimming cool. pool with That's hot really, and cold really plunge cool. at either end. Views of the wow, intercoastal two cold palm plunges. trees. I mean, you are in Palm Beach, Florida. That is And you're awesome. standing on a $218 million island. From this perspective, you can really see the colonial architecture on the exterior of the home here, where you have multiple covered loggias, Julia balconies, upper terraces. We have a tennis court pavilion off to the corner there with a clay tennis court. To my far side, and See, then on the other. I mean, how cool would it have been if it was like a actual clay? You know, you would have brought imported the clay from Roland Garros, uh, something like that. It's just that's to me, if someone who's played learned how to play tennis on clay, that's not clay. That's some artificial. This side shit. of the island, we have yet another swimming pool, and then in front of me, check out the size of this dock. So the harbor isn't quite deep enough for a mega yacht, but you could easily be taken out to your mega yacht. What? I mean, this is. It's a private island. A you private can't bring island. your mega so yacht. I don't want have it. A beautiful dock like this. Well, I let's make our way back inside so to pass. check out the rest. Pass. And heading back in, you can really see now beautiful iron frame doors here. They pocket. All right, let's quickly talk about architectural style. So I like it. It's cool to do it a different type of a look and uh, not go for something modern. You know, you remember modern homes age extremely fast. So I think colonial architectural style is fantastic. Now, architecturally, I think it's does it lacks that real charm. I would have liked to seen like a little bit more detail, a little bit, a little bit more ornate type of a design. So I'm going to give the architectural style an eight. You have your seating area off to the left with again, nice gas fireplace, television overhead. If you look up, coffered ceilings giving it that very elegant feeling, that colonial style. Below our feet, we have white oak, which really gives that beachy theme. But again, this is the center of the house and you can see on the drone shot, we're gonna outline exactly where we are for reference in the space. For now, we're gonna make our way to the right, which is, you'll see in a second. This is the kitchen wing. So check out this kitchen, center island here with a breakfast bar seating for four. Kind of small. And this will be like your informal living room area I mean, at the far end of the room. For a $218 little breakfast million table. Dollar then property, you have you would this kitchen. At least expect a, a double a countertops counter, double and island, backsplash right? in the hood of this range here. Not Got impressed. A lot of pot filler. You probably won't be doing Not your dishes if you buy this the, place, uh, but if you want to do your dishes. At all. Here's another little prep area, again with that marble, open concept shelving, and then you have your wine room here, right off the kitchen. This whole that's a really is small like wine room. That area, is a kind of super. They better the have another wine room. Off to my right it here, absolutely we've better got a to have a wine to the room. Left. So again, we have five garages here in the motor core, and this just connects yeah, the good. space from the front of the property to the back. And then you can see again this fireplace, just for perspective, how high the mantle is here. The scale of the home is unreal. And then at the other end of the low you have your We're gonna tennis score that pavilion. That as well. Look at this space, double height ceiling here, just letting in light from every angle. The Views optimized pavilion. in every direction. And then if you look down below my feet, we've got that white oak again, and it mimics the design yeah, like the of floors. the space. It's, that's cool. One that's of the cool, most beautiful cool rooms that I've ever seen in any home. And of course you I have your view of your clay tennis seen. court. And if you look up, you've got your Julia balcony overlooking the space. And up the stairs here, You've got multiple landings, a window here to let in some light on the stairwell. And this is the guest quarter. Again, let's check out the That's view from the top very... here. So there's that Julia balcony. There's another perspective of the tennis pavilion. And like I mentioned, this is the guest quarters or the guest apartment. So if you pull back, I just want to show the length of this hallway. I, I, I do not Off of the stairwell, you have this hallway that goes all the way back. Okay. Hallways are nothing to brag about. Okay, let me just make this very clear. Okay, if you have a long hallway in a property, that tells you one very important thing that you should, you know, alarm bells should go off right off the bat, that this is a long house, right? And you don't want long houses, right? You want good proportions, right? And long and hallways are wasted space when it comes to score footage. To there, and then Not if impressed. we whip it way back to me, this is your front loggia. So you have a view of your motor court, the banyan trees, and the bridge leading to your property. You can hear all the birds, just, yeah. It's another level. This house is another level. And again, you have not one, but three doors that can lead into the hallway. Back on in the hallway, 
through these double doors here. This is the owner's suite. Are you ready for this? So yes. walking in, off to my left, we have that this ho wet narrow bar hallway again. With Not those okay. Open marble shelves running up the entire length here. Behind me, this is the first closet. Dude, yeah, you haven't even closet. done the closet? Are you kidding me? 218 million. You haven't customized the freaking closet yet? Ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. Come on, continue playing. Closet. This is bigger than my bedroom. And then off of the closet. And that chandelier is whack. This is the first. So wait and a minute. Hold bar. on. You have to go through the closet to get to the bathroom. Who set this layout? You had a jewel. You had a trophy property. You had a piece of art. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. On location, law quality, law orientation, utilization. What are you doing? What are you doing? What did you do to this piece of land? So we'll make our way back through your closet. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's well, even annoyed. The speakers integrated in the whole space. Those chandeliers so are so home. pansy. And off the wet bar, welcome to the owner's bedroom. Okay. We got Good the vaulted space. ceiling. Good space. Tons of space here. I mean, look how large this I'm room is. I'm happy with this. I'm and the best part this. is, you have Views. a private terrace. Okay, terrace. Just as much real estate as the interior. That is but kind of colonial the back of the property here. Caribbean style. And really from the drone shot, you can see the perspective of how small a person is in this home. It is truly something else. Pretty special home. I mean, this bedroom is so serene. It's so peaceful. It's huge. Okay. And there's a whole other half on this side. Now watch, it's going to be like black this. marble. This is one of the most expensive bathrooms in the entire world. Clad in Italian book matched Are marble. Are you kidding me? Every piece of marble Are that you, you see. Are you kidding me? Just because you have marble and it's expensive and you just throw it at the wall doesn't make your property valuable. Do research to find out, look, what is in right now? Right? What is what what is the expectation in the ultra high end? Right? Then say, you know, we've heard marble is good. It's been good since Caesar's time. Marble at the wall and show that it's expensive home. Horrible. Horrible. Don't do this. As far as the finishes goes, I'm gonna give it a six. Just for the fact that they ex used expensive material, but did it so untastefully, without character, without matching it with other product and other type of finishes to give it kind of a, a homogeneous vibe that, you know, they're different type of products and finishes are talking to each other and kind of complimenting each other. It's going to get a six. Back onto the hallway. To all the hallway. The way at the other end. This is so annoying. The hallway where this you have the so stairwell. Annoying. And I want to point out again, these are double width stairs. So you really get that grand feeling in here. This is so and strange. And off to my left, this is one of my favorite rooms. This is the game room here the thing i love most about this room is all the light with all these windows and that's and actually a negative i would say for one of the negative of the architectural style they picked is that doesn't allow really big windows and uh, that's a negative to me it actually there's not much enough light the only reason you see a lot of light because it's painted all white but uh, i mean you if you do decide to go with the colonial style then you're looking at smaller windows this is huge from the draw you can see we are now in the far guest wing of the house where we have a whole, basically a whole other house. This is your- You know what? I'm going to score layout right now. I give the layout of this property a two. I don't think I've ever given a layout a two score. It was just horrible. And it really comes down to, I think they've made a strategic mistake with this house. They literally kept 20% of the house or 30% of the house and did an addition of 70% based on what they were given. That is an extremely painful mistake and the reason i say that is because you could have just taken that out and reimagined this property with a proper architect and rebuilt it and it just tells me that the intentions again it's my personal opinion it comes across this way that you try to reuse what it was there and not really think about the whole picture as a as a kind of a whole new entity for this island and I wouldn't be surprised. Hopefully they sell it. I mean, I'll be very glad if they sell it. But if you ask me, I would say it's probably going to sit on the market for a very long time. Okay, let's talk about privacy really quick. So this property is also very private at the same time, very exposed, right? It, and the exposure is through waters, right? Like someone can jump on a jet ski and just roll in or a canoe and, and it's 
it's a major issue. If I talked about this issue with Messi's video. If you haven't seen this, I will post it at the end of the video. Uh, click on it, check it out. He has kind of a similar issue. And I actually recommend it if he would have bought Tarpoon Island. But I did not imagine for them to take all the beautiful hedging out of this property. So when they purchased this property, it was extremely well hedged. Look at those really high hedge. There was two rounds of hedge. And I think there was a, like a, something in between, possibly a barbed wire fence to stop people from coming in and providing security, right? So it was only exposed on this side where there's a lot of distance to the main house where you couldn't really see the interior of the space. And But they've decided to take the, all the hedging out, which I think was a big, big, major mistake for any billionaire who would want this. They would be okay with a little bit of an opening, but certainly they would have wanted some privacy around some other areas. And I think that was another big strategic mistake. You can see all the hedging is gone, right? So it's very exposed. I think it's bad. And that for that reason, I give the privacy eight. It could become a 10 if they fix it. The other element that I haven't talked about is views. So this is not ocean view, but you get views from everywhere in the property. Again, it's not like, you know, the most beautiful Caribbean water. It's a, you know, lagoon. Uh, for that reason, I'm going to score it an eight. So I haven't scored the scale for this property. I'm going to give scale a six because of it, it was inconsistent. And that's how I scored this property. Now on Zillow, it was previously, it was bought for $85 million. It has only five bedrooms, nine bath, which is ridiculous, right? For $218 million. Are you kidding me? It just looked like the house was added on, added, added on. It was long hallways, useless space. I just didn't get the oomph. I didn't get the usability. I didn't see a movie theater. I didn't see any of the stuff that typical buyers would want in a 10,000 square foot home, let alone, uh, you know, 20,000 square foot home they're claiming. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, you will probably like my messy video I posted as well. Subscribe to the channel and tell me in the comments what you think about the video. If you want me to review another massive match and let me know in the comments. Thank you. And remember, stay discerning out there. Okay. Talk to you soon. Bye.